Hi, welcome to my channel, Mentally Human. I'm B, and I am so excited to be on this journey. All my life, I have been interested in psychology and everything that involves the mental brain. I'm not an expert, I'm not saying that I am, but this is my main interest. When I was in college, high school, my main path was psychology. Over the last few months, I have been discovering more about the brain, how it works, why we have these mental issues and how we can tackle them and become better and not get rid of them, but to live with them. And I'm here because I want to educate you and I want to help you and I want to be educated myself. I want to learn other people's stories. I want to see into other people's lives. I will be researching so many topics and I am so excited for this. I have a blog that is dedicated to mental health and how to live with it. It has a lot of my own experience and my opinions. I will put the link in the description box below. Please check it out, it would mean a lot to me. I want to talk about topics like depression, anxiety, eating disorders, any kind of mental disorders there are. I want to research them, I want to learn more and I want to teach you. I also would love to hear your questions, to hear your stories. So please comment down below and I will go through them and if you allow, I will tell your story. I can try to analyze what's going on in your brain, how you can live with it and how you can become better and how you can become happy again because that's what you deserve. I have my own problems. I have been dealing with depression for most of my life and I just over the last few months realized how I can evolve and how I can love myself again and be confident in my own body and be confident in my own mind. That's not something everyone does and it's so sad and I want as many people to love themselves and be happy in their own body and not compare themselves to anyone else. If there is anything you don't want to be in the comments or you want me to tell your story but anonymously I am happy to do that. I understand that it's not easy to open up, open yourself up. I know it's not easy to talk about your feelings when everything you're feeling is negative and bad and self-destructing. I have so many days where I'm so bad and I'm pushing my partner away but I don't want him to go away. Thankfully he's still here and I push my family away because of the way I feel and it's just not fair on them and it's not fair on me because all I'm doing is breaking myself down and I'm pushing myself away. I'm not being my true self. So ask me questions, tell me your story, let me know what you want to learn. I will research it. I want to learn more and I want to read more. I'm reading so many books. It's so much fun. I'm a complete book addict. And just this year, I found my real book universe. I've always loved fiction and stories that weren't real. But that's because I wanted to escape my own reality. I wanted to leave what I had because I didn't think it was good enough. But I have discovered that there is more in life. 
life is worth more and I can tell you right now that you deserve more. You deserve everything. You deserve to love yourself. And I know even if you're not struggling yourself, but you're living with people, family, that struggle, it is hard. It's really hard, believe me. I grew up <laughs> with a house full of mentally unstable people. I'm not gonna go into detail because I know how hard it is. Because I know that it's not fair to talk about someone else's problems without their permission. So I would never talk about anything about my family if they don't want it to be talked about or tell my side of their story that's just not fair because i don't know everything i don't know what's going through their head i can guess and i can look at how they grew up or how they acted when they were younger it's not fair on them if they don't want their story to be heard so i would never talk about anyone's story if they don't want it to be heard it's just simple as that. We're all human, we're all different. There's no one the same, but somehow we're all categorized in the same boxes. Yes, we may have depression or anxiety, but no depression is the same. No two anxieties are the same. You can't just be put in one box. You have to learn how to be you. You have to learn who you are and you have to learn how to love yourself. I'm also working on a study for my university dissertation and I would love to get your help. I am looking at performance anxiety in musicians, more vocalists than other musicians. But it doesn't matter what kind of performer you are, I would love to hear how you deal with your performance anxiety if you thrive on the anxiety. It doesn't matter if you're in music, in acting, in comedy. I want to know. I want to learn. I would love to be able to interview you, if you allow me to email interview or Skype interview. It would mean so much to me and it would help me immensely. That's everything for today. Thank you so much for listening and watching. I really appreciate it and I just want to say again, welcome to Mentally Human. Please subscribe and like the video, it means so much to me. Have a great day, you deserve it.